old Alabama gardener. In this video, I'm showing you how I grow sweet potatoes. This is a Japanese sweet potato. It's called Mura Murasaki. And I did not grow these slips. I bought these. Next year, I'll be growing my own slips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pot them up in some water bottles. I've got drain holes cut down in the bottom of the water bottle. So we'll get that going. You notice it really has a lot of good roots on it, so that means it's a good slip. We don't need these lower leaves, so we'll take them off. And we'll put this down in there. And fill it up. And then after a while, when I get it all finished, I'll water them. All right, we're going to plant more sweet potato here. Now, I'm not going to put any trouble 13 in here. I'm not going to put any fertilizer at all. Sweet potatoes need very little, if any, uh, nitrogen, which a triple 13 would have nitrogen in it. Hey, look at a good set of roots on that. It's ready to grow. So we set it down in there. Carefully fill in around it. And that's it. So here's my complete row of sweet potatoes. About 25 plants. Today is the 7th of September, so we look at our sweet potatoes. Look at all the blooms. White rimmed out, purple on the inside, very pretty blossom. So what we're looking for is this main stem right here that goes straight down. And you had all these side shoots that runs out, but we're looking for this main one right here. And we're going to cut it off. And any other limbs right here close by, I'm going to cut them too. So that goes that one. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's another one. There's another one. So what that does, even if frost hits these leaves, it can't translocate down into the potatoes which are under the ground. So I gotta go down this whole row here and cut these main stems. So if I don't get to them for some reason, to dig them out, because there's no tops on it, they won't be injured by the frost. Now what I want to show right here, 
is the distance apart. So here's a main stem, and here's a main stem. This is about nine inches, I know, because I've measured it. So I've got about 18 inches apart here. Gives me some idea of what I might do next year. What I got here is a type of plow called a middle buster. It's got wide wings on it here, which throws the dirt out. Got a sharp point down underneath there, which is going to take it down into the ground. And I'm going to try to plow out sweet potatoes uh, with this plow and the tractor. <laughs> so here's a few sweet potatoes. Better than nothing, huh? Oh, not better than so long. So there's the potatoes. Now growing sweet potatoes is one thing, but curing them out to where they taste good is the next phase or the next step. And so what I've been doing is I've been bringing them out here uh, where we are in full sunlight and leaving them open all day long to, to have the sunshine on them. And then at nighttime, I fold this tarp back over the top of them on all sides to protect them from any rain. It's uh, not likely to frost, but if it would be a frost, it would protect them that way too. So that's what we need to do now. Now these potatoes would have been bigger had I been able to leave them in the ground longer. <coughs> so that's a lesson for next year. That is, get the potatoes out more early than I did this year. <coughs> 